and north of Charnock on Bedroom, please. Parish Exchange for Cal, guys, back out. He's moving to the west side of the garage, west side of the yard in the garage. You guys might want to have a uh, taser or a uh, beanbag ready. This guy's uh, kind of hopping around and acting like he might be on something. Okay, he's running again. Stand by for direction. Back inside the garage. And uh, one, 139, if you can hold there for me in case he comes north or west. And control the suspect still in the backyard. Something at over the fence towards the officer. Black, gray, long sleeve sweater, black shorts, no shoes. Hey guys, there's a suitcase on the on the roof of the house here, and he looks uh, really 415. So it's just use caution. Airship, this is uh, W60. Can you please keep an eye out for any other uh, vehicles parked in that area that try to uh, leave the location? Go went into the house on the west side of the house, guys. And Air 16 Patrol confirmed that the uh, car who called is uh, not in that location. Just find out if anybody's supposed to be inside that house from the PR if, uh, if they know. Hey, there's an Air 16 Roger. The original PR was a neighbor. We'll do a call back to find out further. It was a neighbor. I do not know if the neighbors were home. Okay, Roger, copy. Uh, in units, I don't know if you copy, but the PR does not know if anybody's supposed to be home or not. Do you have a perimeter set up? Uh, we're getting a containment on this house set up. Um, if I can get one more unit north of Charnock on Bedroom, and uh, and then one unit uh, a little further north on um, Celtic, north of Charnock. And uh, Air 16 units, so far no other activity on this guy. Went in the house through the window on the west side of the property it hasn't come out yet. Uh, and I don't know if you guys copy, but there's also a suitcase on the roof. So I don't know if he's been at this place or what. Air 16 advises the suspect, a male black, gray, long sleeve sweater, black shoes, no shoes, has entered in the west side of the house and has left a suitcase, a brown suitcase, on the roof. To the shop. One more. Bonitos. Air 16 to control. If I get uh, one unit to stop uh, eastbound traffic on Greenfield for eastbound traffic, and if we get attack. Air 16 is going to stop eastbound traffic at Greenfield. Any Pacific unit? Air 16 units go to Charnock and Kelsen. Switch to West Rio Attack 1, Channel 42. West Rio Attack 1, Channel 42. Any Pacific unit code 6 on the call, come in. 825, Fortune 825, come in. 1425, can you verify that the address on the residence is 10909 Sharnock Road? We have a code that are at that address. I have, uh, give me a second, I'll get ready. Units on the perimeter, switch to channel 42, Jack 142. Uh, officers holding the south side of the house, just be advised. If there's a window behind those hedges, I won't be able to see if he comes out of there. Roger that, Hirsch, I forgot the rear or right, we'll let you know if he comes out this way. No, good to Go ahead, sir. Good okay, advice, sir. Uh, we're uh, we're getting a uh, arrest team uh, together right now, just in case. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, can you see if you can uh, make an announcement, see if we can get this guy out? Uh... Okay, Roger. Copy that. Uh, I will do the announcement. Are you guys ready for it now? Or do you want to get that team set up? Airship, give us about uh, two minutes. Copy. Hey, Commander 14 to Airship, can you just verify that uh, we've got good containment and that we're, we're we're tight on that location, please? Roger, we do have uh, containment and uh, perimeter is good. Thank you. And shop uh, 139, if you can uh, back up your car on a chart knock, make sure we don't get any eastbound traffic. Yes, sir. Uh, when you get a chance, you can go ahead and uh, try to make that announcement. Okay, Roger, here it comes. There's no activity. L50 to Airship, can you just stand by for a moment? Yeah, Roger. You guys uh, want me to get K9 around? 14 boy in the air unit. Do we have any evidence to suggest there's a victim uh, inside that residence? Hey guys, nothing obvious. I haven't seen any other activity. 
Roger. And I guess the PR that called in doesn't know if they're home or not. 110, respond to the CP. It's going to be on Charnock, east of Kelta. I'm yeah, Roger. Just make your left there. They're just getting it set up now. 16, come in for control. CP and airship, uh, be advised. Normally we have an RV parked in front of this house. The RV belongs to the house. I don't see the RV anywhere, so most likely I don't think anybody's home. Okay, copy. There is a, uh, the alarm company has a contact info for that house. They call them and they are en route to the CP. We're trying to find out from that person if anybody's supposed to be home. The units be advised, suspect just attempted to break the uh, east side of the window here. Okay, guys, you just saw him do that right now, or it uh, looks like it was from prior. Units with the information regarding the east window. By, uh, you saw him do that now, or that's just some damage to it from before? Negative. Uh, it looked like he just tried to kick the window out. It's going to be the uh, the window on the north side. Hey, Roger. East side of the building, uh, north window, correct? Roger that. Okay, copy. We'll keep an eye on it. Yes, sir. Roger, sir. When you get a chance, can you uh, see if you can notify... Uh, maybe Metropolitan Vision and see if they can respond to this uh, preferably K-9 unit. I'll be uh, requesting on standby. Description of the suspect's probably going to be 5'8 to 5'9, 185 pounds, wearing a gray sweatshirt with a little mini afro, 20 years of age. Black. Perimeter or airship, do you see any, uh, there's no other uh, people sitting in any vehicles on the same block as, as this target location or anything? Hey, last uh, unit to repeat about the vehicle request. Did you notice any uh, vehicles with uh, people sitting in a vehicle in front of that location or on the same block? Negative, did not. 14L30, 14L50. And uh, K-9's en route from downtown. 14L30 to 14L50. Go ahead, Frank. Roger, you got beanbags and tasers down there with you? I have a stick officer ready. Say again? Yes. Yes. And they think that uh, there was a 415 man with a gun. I did not hear a gun come out. So he's just a uh, burglar inside of a house. He's not armed, or is he armed? We don't know that at this time. Anybody see a gun? No. Roger. Fortune within 152, can you guys verify that the uh, security gate? Is there a security door on the east side? Unit on the east side, can you verify if there's a security gate on the door? The door's actually on the uh, south side. The east side has no doors, just two windows. Roger that. Um, CP, just for your information, then we're going to need a uh, hook and ram. There's the uh, black security gate on uh, this front door, just in case we're going to have to make entry. Then the next at 14L50, could you bring him up on the air? Frank. Roger, I have your PR over here with the keys to his house. He's at the CP. Roger, is there a number uh, for the inside? Um, yes. Verify there is a number? Roger, you want to meet with me or meet the PR so you can get the keys and the numbers? Roger, send me. Can you uh, ask the PR if there's any weapons in the house? Beach. Go ahead, Franklin. Two CPs, what are we running? It's supposed to be just one. Uh, so, uh, you coming to the PR or you want the PR to come to you? Stand by. Uh, I got an officer approaching me right now. CP, uh, did you copy K9 to route from downtown? No, 50, we copy. Roger. 
Hey, Bill, can you ask the PR key and if that works for the front uh, black metal gate and the door? Team boy of the air unit. Go ahead, sir. Just confirm my inner and outer perimeter are secure. Yes, it is secure. Guys are out downtown. Roger that. Commander 14 boy to L50. Okay, you are now the uh, arrest team uh, team leader. I'm taking over as the incident commander. All units on the perimeter is nothing sixty. So uh, make a call to the landline of the location and try to make contact with the suspect. Stand by. You know, if there are any unit that does not have an assignment, come to the CP. Any unit that does not have an assignment, report to the CP. I made one attempt to call, and there's been no answer. I'm going to try one more time. Be advised, they're a part of the arrest. You still need the primary unit? I need the primary unit here for K-9. Let's pop out two for your arrest team. Be advised, I just attempted to break the uh, 1430 again. I need all units that do not have an assignment to report to the CP. All units, if you do not have an assignment, report to the CP. Now, next to Lincoln. Stand by. Uh, say hi, young. Because we're talking about the house north of it. It's north of it. Negative. Uh, I have a female and a male inside the house. I can evacuate if you want me to. Please evacuate them. FD notified en route to the CP at Sherlock and Midvale. Airship, can you uh, please verify for me what uh, the description of the suitcase that you saw the suspect with on the roof? Yeah, Roger. It's still on the roof. It's just going to be a brown. Looks like maybe a leather uh, type suitcase, uh, medium size or regular size suitcase. Roger that. I'm just here with the victim to see if that's uh, his property or not, but it doesn't sound familiar to him. Copy. On the perimeter, be advised we're evacuating the north side house. Uh, it's going to be three females and one male uh, currently walking northbound away from the location. Come out the south window. Oh, for the airship, can you make that announcement again? Sure. cops. Twelve airship. Go ahead, sir. Hey, uh, I'm just waiting for two more dogs to get here. We're going to kick off. I got a key to the house, and uh, we got the buy off here from our supervisor. Okay, Roger, copy that. Yeah, I'm 25 units on the perimeter. Uh, I need a, the officers that uh, evacuated the residents one north of uh, our suspect location to come up on the air. Mims, we uh, get the evacu evacuation. Roger, uh, were the uh, residents home when you evacuated the building? Roger. Uh, and they stated they, they didn't say they were a victim of a crime. The guy wasn't in their yard at any time that they know of. Negative. Say hi. Go ahead. Roger, we evacuate the house to the north. Uh, how about the two houses to the south on the corner? Exited the house on the north side and is laying down in the backyard. Okay. Roger, copy. I'll keep eyes on. Say hi. Disregard it. No one at 3605. Units, uh, let's keep emergency traffic only. Suspect is out of the house. He has changed his clothes. He's now wearing a woman's dress, appears, and uh, his gray sweater and like a cowboy hat. He is laying on the north side of the house. There should be advised from the east side, there's no entrance to the gate to the rear. Okay, stand by. Suspect is uh, moving again. Suspect is standing up, stand by for direction. Still no change, standing in the 
at the north side of the house still. Okay, can uh, command posts and, uh, and units on the perimeter. Suspect still on the north side. Looks like he's uh, fixing his clothes. K-912, airship. K-912. I'm going to move up with the K-19. That way, if he starts moving, uh, we'll be prepared for that. So uh, we'll be moving up in just a minute here. Okay, Roger, copy. Still will change. He's on the north side of the house. Just stand in there. All right, uh, suspect actually slowly moving westbound to the rear of the house. Okay, he's walking back towards the east side of the house. And uh, looks like he's going to be picking up his hat and putting it back on. Hey, guys, he's moving slowly westbound along the north side of the house. Stand by for uh, his next move here. Okay, walking slowly southbound. Just sat down at a table on the uh, west side of the house. Looks like he's just enjoying the sun here. We got K-9 coming down. Okay, just hop over the fence, uh, one north, guys. He's running northbound now. Uh, he's one north of the house. One house north, stand by. He's getting ready to go over to the second house north. Okay, over to the third house north. Hey, units, stand by. We got the dog coming. Okay, all units, hold your positions, unless directed by uh, Air, uh, K-9 or us. He's over to the fourth house, fourth house north. The gate at the fifth house, still in the fourth property. Still in the fourth property. He might be getting ready to go west. Unison veteran, he might be getting ready to come west. Stand by. K-9-3 airship, when you get a chance, we do need a K-9 announcement. Okay, roger. 14 now, uh, 30 to 50. No, 50 go. Roger, do we have units north in the direction he's running for a block or two? Absolutely. Okay, units, he's still in the fourth house north, fourth house north, one with that blue El Camino in the driveway, uh, to the rear of the house, or to the rear of the property, all the way to the west end of the property. Guys, he's just sitting down in the backyard now of that uh, fourth house north. West end there, red dress. Well, you know, uh, 30 to 50, K-9 is asking for your arrest team to assist him. Roger that, where that? Guys, 4th House North, east side of the, or west side of the street, Nelson. We do have officers uh, giving verbal commands to the suspect now. Air 16, the suspect is, ran, is up on the uh, shed, one house to the west. One house to the west. Okay, officers uh, are taking him into custody now. Uh, suspect in custody. And units, Air 16, the unit suspect is in custody. Fortunately, uh, 50, we still have a, uh, this location that needs to be cleared. S team down here. Hey, K-9-12, CP. CP, go. Hey, Roger. Suspect, uh was tased and order up an RA unit and then I got to go uh, I'll notify my supervisor here shortly. Roger, this is the CP. We have an RA unit standing by. Where do you want them to respond to? Go 52 uh, CP. Go. Yeah, I have the uh, RA respond on Kelton, uh, just north of uh, Toronto. Roger. Darren Rob. Roger. Air 16 to the CP. Go for CP. Roger. Uh, do you need, need us to hang around for uh, clearing the house? Yeah, Roger. Actually, we're going to need to do that. Uh, team hits off one back up. They're going to go clear the house. Okay, we'll stand by. L52, uh, all units on the CP. Stand by. Uh, the uh, K9 unit is going to. Uh, Search the location. Hey, K9, uh, three on. Go ahead. Hey, uh, were we the ones that took him into custody? Do that. 
units with the uh, fire truck. If uh, before they leave, if we can borrow a ladder, uh, you guys are going to need to get on the roof of this house to get that uh, suitcase. Carrying uh, A2 uh, airship, I've got a ladder for them, so we'll be all right. Okay, Roger, copy. A2, uh, correction, K912, CP, we're going to clear the location. K912, CP, is there a uh, PR that can tell us how to turn off the alarm? The K9 wants to the PR can tell them how to turn the alarm off in the house. Raj, stand by. K12, uh, CP, we're okay. We're going to be here short, just real quick. Yeah. Roger, the uh, residence is code four. Um, and uh, we got a code four here. And so the suitcase is going to be on the uh, two three corner of the house on the roof. Perimeter, come over to the CP for a debrief. We can break down the perimeter. The uh, uh, verifier, are we breaking down the perimeter? Roger. Roger. Air 16 to CP, did you copy where the uh, suitcase is on the roof? It's on the 2-3 uh, corner. Roger that airship. Also, which window did you actually see the suspect uh, break and go into? The window on the west side of the house. Uh, there's a wrought iron table right underneath the window. He stood on that window. Roger that.